Hey guys, welcome back to this channel, the only Lauren channel. I'm Lauren and today is a very exciting day because I have kind of a controversial subject to talk about. It's called white people psychology for black folks. The reason I'm doing this video is because I'm constantly discredited when I have a conversation with black folks about how white people don't like you. Like, they don't. Despite the fact that there is almost half a millennium of evidence that proves it, and despite me telling them that that every time I have the same conversation with white people, they go, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, we're awful people. They said that, I never said that. So, so you guys need to know, when you go to Google black people and you go to the Wikipedia page on black people, then you'll see that there is like hundreds of pages worth of information on black people. I wanna say hundreds of pages. It's like, it's it's long. I think it's like 26 pages or something of various articles on how um, we basically been studied. And when you go to the same Wikipedia page on white people, there is only a few pages. So I want to give you the observer's point because I don't think you study. Let's just be real. I'm gonna give you the observer's point of view. Reversed. You know what I mean. And this is a free service. You obviously need my help because you're having problems defending yourself and it looks like everything we do is not working. So my mom used to say, fight them using their own laws. So here I am helping you out, giving you a leg up. So let's get into some definitions. Today I wanna to talk about the Greek letter Psi. Now, why are we talking about Psi? Greek letter Psi. We're talking about psychology and science. Although they don't have an etym etymological origin, they have the same sounding beginning. Whereas psychology is the science of the behavior of the mind. Science is the study of how things work in the form of testable explanations and prediction about the universe. So we basically can say how something will act through a series of tests that we put it through. But it's this individual particular thing, so. Schrodinger equation also, for quantum physics, uses psi to describe how a particle is gonna act. That's I H bar equals Hamiltonian operator times the wave function times T times the bracket or in bracket. Now, don't freak out. Don't freak out. It took me a long time to write that, like as you saw me writing that right now, because I was thinking, I get sidetracked. Don't get freaked out about what these symbols mean, because I am going to explain each one to you. So let's get into the first one. I It's just the imaginary. I is just an imaginary number. It's a complex number written as a real number, which means you can treat the imaginary number as a real number to convey what you want to see on the graph. Put a hint though, I squared equals negative one. It's just a circle. There's no number you can square that can be negative one, but you can have squares that are negative one. You know what I mean? You see what I mean? This is a square. This is, this is negative one. And this 
is your square. You understand? Do you understand? Negative one. You understand? You feel me? You got it? Now? You remember that from the grade school? You remember what that's called? That's that's a parabola. Remember that? Alright. Next is H bar, which is a reduced Planck's constant, which is the same number. You basically are going to use H bar no matter what, it's gonna always be the same. That's not so bad, right? The Hamiltonian operator. The Hamiltonian operator is the sum of the kinetic and potential energies. So we're describing our particle as it is moving and as it's not moving because it's not this is a time this is a time independent general equation so just a general equation the greek letter psi the greek letter psi is the state of the vector relative to its time that means as a as a particle a particle is moving let's say let's say you're this particle right right this is your psi of t that's basically your x and your y you remember that remember that from grade school you remember that i know you remember that and so if you know anything about quantum physics you'll know that they say the particle is alive it does this weird freaky thing where it's like aware when you're looking at it and it acts accordingly so I'm doing another video on that completely all together. I think that's really cool and whoa. So let's get back into it. We said all of this to say that psychology and science can be both treated as a wave function, at least for the purpose of this video. Today, we won't be using the Schrodinger equation. Today, we're gonna be using our own wave function to describe the psychology of white people. So the first thing we wanna look at is the who, what, when where and all of those are going to equal how so let's let's write that down so i don't know if y'all caught that last part but i'm hoping you did and i was talking about in order to build our equation for the psychology of white people you have to build the who what when where and it's going to equal how okay i ran out of space and i gotta move fast because i actually live with white folks so gotta make sure all the evidence is removed by the time they come back so to build our case, we're going to use phenomena that already exist, which is why we didn't use Schrodinger equation. When I think of white people, I think of the oxidation process and bleach because the removal of color, um, white light, which essentially means you can see things. So we're just gonna keep it simple and we're gonna use C squared, which is basically the speed of light. We're just calling it light and it feels good. So we're gonna keep C squared off to the side squared and we're gonna put psi off to the side because this is oh no you know what never mind we're gonna take that back I don't want to put psi yet first then next the next thing we're gonna be talking about we're gonna be talking about what what's happening here now if you know anything about physics you should know about the process of entry entropy the natural tendency of things to flow from one thing to another. Now I'm talking about like a deterioration process, uh, chaos theory and things of that nature. So we're gonna put in the equation for entropy. That's S equals K B ln of omega so kb is a Planck's constant and Planck constant is just a reduced avogadro number ln is the natural logarithm it's just a function or how it's acting um and omega simply represents the microstates of the uh the atoms the molecule we don't even really have to say all of this all right i'm gonna keep it simpler than that what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it e the exponential. So where where is all this happening? All of this is happening on Earth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna define the potential, all of it. 
So what is that? That's gravity. Earth's gravity is, for those who know it, we're gonna say Earth's gravity. I'm not gonna, I'm not. Avogadro's number, the atoms and all of that is already accounted for. I'm just doing Earth's gravity, all of it. So that's 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, and how, how that is our psi. Right, we bowl in. Now what we wanna do is take our equation and make it a whole equation we can actually use. So the next, for the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to say psi of x equals two. I'm, 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 I'm multiplying, I'm gonna multiply across because this is a general equation. I'm not dividing, I'm not describing. Should I divide? No, 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 we're not doing that, we're not doing that. I'll run back on it later to see if I need to, but I won't. That's um, C squared, E, 9.8. And that's it. Or if you want to be more complicated, we're going to say psi of x equals c squared k b ln of omega. And there's no reason because I've already accounted for everything in that 9.8 meters per second squared. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this hoe into Desmo. Let's get some fresh Desmos on. Oh crap, okay. For those of you guys who don't know Desmos, I don't think you can actually see the Desmos on here. Let's just, you know, look at it and let's start graphing. For our psi of x, we're just gonna treat it like a regular function. So we're gonna say f of x. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna zoom in separate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in separate from that. In order to get the function to run, you actually have to describe what x is. So. Our x is total equation, so let's do this. Oh my god, oh my god. If you guys can see this, if you can see this, oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna pull you off real quick. That is a freaking line. I don't think you can see that. That is a line, that is a line. Let me zoom in so you can see. That's the line right there. It's a line. This is a wave equation. Ain't no waviness, no backstroke, no soul, no rhyme, no rhythm. Let's try to experiment on it and see if we can get it to do something different other than be a line. Now, guys, I forgot to um, define the function per time so this is going to be your x and this is going to be your y but basically this is what you see here and so i've been trying to get it to do something other than what it's been doing and this is what happens when you put it on play go i'm gonna speed it up this is what's happening And that's how their brain is functioning. Now we're gonna take our x, and we're going to make it parabolic, squared, let's play. Linear as well. It looks like when there is linearity that is trying to break, there's like, what looks like a glitch, typical stuff. So that's it. That's it. Use lines to fight lines. Next time your arses have an issue, take your behind to court. And I might do the same equation for black people, um, the same thought experiment for black people just to give you guys a um, contradicting view and a, uh, a general view so you can see what the deal, which would be like much more complicated because black people are, they have this syncopation thing that they do with the, with the drums, particularly black 
black American thing. It's like the triplicate. It's a triplicate. I will go into it later. I am not going to describe it now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, subscribe, share, and buy my book. Buy my book, Quintessence, a science book written by a black girl. And um, first edition, first edition, I gotta go back rewrite it make it look nicer than what it looks have a nice day and be smart